are seeking redemption on Instant Replay Live through Road Redemption. You nailed it. Thanks. You totally, you totally got it. I don't know if I joined or not. I might have just started the game without <laughs> you just myself. It's all NPCs. <laughs> there's no Joe. There's just, there's just Road Redemption. <laughs> So on this episode of Instant Replay Live, we're going to be covering death. We're going to be talking about death. Whoa. Yeah. Um, I fear death. <laughs> De- I don't, actually. I don't, okay. I don't. I don't. I mean, it's, you know, it's hard to, like, when, I, when I'm in the face of, like, imminent pain and danger. Yeah. I, th- I pick, think, though, Pick your character real quick, please. Well, I was looking at the stats, dude. <laughs> Let's get to some gameplay before we worry. That's hard. The... It specifically says that that's hard. Don't even. You've never played this before. It's going to be great. You've never played this before. It looks before, the coolest. And you're starting with hard. Nick, tell us about death. Well, so I'm not afraid of what death will be like, because I'm sure... By the way, I had no idea Joe was going to come out the gate with death. (laughs) But, um... Yeah, I told you, it's very clumsy. (laughs) That guy just got run over. I'm not doing so well. No, you're you're not. It wasn't even though because it was hard, it was because I'm trying to figure out the controls. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Like you should have started on easier mode Dude, that to have a chance crazy. to figure them out. I'm doing good. <laughs> Are you? I think so. Okay. Death itself is just the end of experience, right? Like you don't get any more level ups <laughs> at that point. Yeah. There's no and there's no dialogue choices anymore. Oh, that cop's taking a swing on you. You better swing back. Oh, whoa! Oh, nice. You crashed, Officer Smiles. Oh, you're so happy. So, but you you said you're not afraid of death. Yeah. You're not afraid of ending all of your experiences? No, I think there's plenty of time. Uh, oh, sure, yeah. but death could come for you at any point. <laughs> death is coming. Um, I don't know. I'm not, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me. Like, when I think about it, it doesn't bother me. There are things that I am bothered about, and it's more the state of everything. This is, this is a deep episode. I yeah, um, really but, got dark uh, and... I don't think it's, it's interesting. Dark, I mean, it's it's it's. But no, I, I just uh, yeah, I'm not as worried about it for for no reason that I can really think okay. of. Okay, sixth place, you failed. Um, I did okay. <laughs> it's it's a legitimate failure. I think I can. I think I, I figured it out though. I, I was trying to. I thought. Okay. There's only one attack, but I thought it was there, like directional. Uh, it is. Well, yeah, right, yeah. It depends. It's, it's context sensitive. That's what it is. The word I'm looking for. And there's also grabs. There's grabs and attacks. Oh. Cool. So yeah. Because oh, you can nice. grab people and like pull them into oncoming traffic and stuff. It's actually an amazing game. Whoa. If uh, if people are, are curious, I picked this up on a Kickstarter, so I don't know that it's even yet available. I didn't look, but um, it was early access the last time I played it, and I, I love it. It's a hearkening back to Road Rage, which was one of the favorite games of my childhood. You just do this. I mean, you race on a bike and beat the hell out of other bikers, and in this case, they throw in some extra traffic, some cops, lots of other stuff to deal with to uh, make your life a little bit harder. Wow, I don't know what happened that did that. I got a low life power up, I think. Yeah. (laughs) You, um... Oh! That's not good. (laughs) (laughs) And then Ragdoll Uh, Felix. There's no coming back. You have some other weapons, too. That's probably your best one, because it's a long axe, but you have... uh, Kick. You actually have a gun. Whoa, Um, really? Yeah. Oh, game over. This is truly the darkest timeline. You can only get better <laughs> as I fade away. Yeah, it's one of those very internet-aware games where they, you know, introduce pop culture references in everything they do. Okay. And it's a roguelike. That was the other thing. You just saw my level-up screen, but you could have bought upgrades if you had money. Hmm. I don't think you had any money, so it probably didn't matter. <laughs> but you could have potentially bought upgrades that would improve your chances for the next time. That said, um, so I had a brush with death not too long ago. Ah. And, uh, I think maybe uh, before I jump into that, uh, have we? T- <laughs> <laughs> All right, jump straight in. So I was living in Tennessee, and I woke up one morning, uh, maybe like 5 a.m. Uh, someone shaking me awake and saying, "Hey, we gotta get out of here." And, uh, oh, you've to put, never told me the story in this detail before. Yeah. Uh, to put it into a little bit more context, I had been... Um, I was living in a pretty, like, dinky place. It was just, like, a place to get by in or whatever. I um, just I just need to point out, I don't think you're racing anymore. I think this is a do X number of damage mission or kill a certain okay. type of guy mission. Okay. It told you, but you probably didn't notice, and I didn't notice so either. Let's players don't read. That's very true. Yeah. So, go on, please, with your, your story. Um, I... Okay, you 
gonna have to give me a break here. Uh, I. Yeah, so I was shaking, shaking awoke, and I, and I said, we, we gotta move now. And I've been living in this place for a couple months. Um, I was I was living there with my dad, and uh, we were renting from a landlord who was also, I guess, evicted from her own home, maybe? I, I don't know the whole oh, story of that. But she was living with us because she needed a place to stay. I didn't know about that. Uh, yeah, and then there was this other guy, Joe, um, who oh, was a really? mechanic. Um, and so let, let's just call him a drunk. That's, oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I think this game is still early access. Uh, yeah, it's pretty great. Um, yeah, so apparently, um, I, I, the, the, the night before I was, I was shaken awoke, uh, I got home and... Um, shaken awoke? Can I stop you again? Yeah. Shaken awoke? That's the best way to say it. Is it shaken shaken awake? awake? No. No. Awoke. Awakened? Did I win? You got some upgrade. Uh, money, you got a thousand four hundred eleven dollars. I get some. What do I get? Well, What's you, that? so your health stays consistent. So you might have wanted to get some beef jerky, but you just bought something without knowing what it was. It looks cool. So, <laughs> so I was shaking awoke. <laughs> Boy, the stories are hard to tell. They're, especially, okay, especially when you never games. played a game. Oh no, I've got. You go. probably could have taken a moment to figure out the game first. Oh God. That hurt. You got one star. I think you need to get like GTA system five star. Ooh, two lives remaining. Okay. God, I, look I, at your like like baby like kick. I don't have my gun anymore though. Uh, yeah, you do. Oh no, you don't. Dang. Kind of it's hit. gonna be harder to get some aggressions. <laughs> okay. Let's get the story out. I got home one night, <laughs> and uh, the police were at our place looking for. Um, the other Joe. The other Joe, who had uh, gotten in a fight with my dad. He was drunk. He was hitting on the landlord. My dad was trying to, like, you know, get him to say, "Hey, you know, just go, go elsewhere. Don't be here." And uh, so Joe picked up a tire iron and swung it at my dad. He smashed my dad. You're literally holding a tire iron. Oh, in the game. He swung a tire iron. Um, <laughs> that's a weird connection that I just made with this person. Um, and uh, no, I should just beat up the cars. Um, Smashed in my dad's windows, attacked him. Uh, luckily, I guess either either my dad is an expert kung fu man or uh, the guy was just really drunk. But dad didn't get hurt. Yeah, but he uh, whoa, um, got Joe to, to leave. Police were looking for Joe. I don't understand how that happens. Um, the next day, I was uh, I was woken up at 6 a.m., 5 a.m., whatever, and I was told we got to move because our landlady had gotten in touch with Joe's friends, and his friends are apparently. She, was, they, she described them as gun-toting neo-Nazi rednecks. That is how they were described to me. Yeah. And they were... Like a legit posse. Because Joe was All arrested right, hand overnight. me the controller while you finish this. Get some good, get some good playing. Um, I haven't played it in months, so it's probably not going to be very good. Joe had been arrested overnight, um, and his friends were out okay. to, I guess, claim their vengeance. Uh, you know, because... <laughs> I don't, I don't know. That seems like a really extreme reaction to someone getting jailed for a drunken fight. Yeah. But uh, nonetheless, we were threatened, and our landlady said, these guys are crazy. They have killed people before, and uh, we needed to move. She so, said they literally killed people before. Yes. Holy shit, dude. Yeah. Um, so we packed everything up. I had to go to work in a couple hours, but I packed everything up that I had, and we got a motel. <laughs> Just down the road, to be honest, which, sounded, which seemed crazy. But right, yeah. Safe you're, enough, whatever. You're, like, able to see as they're, like, breaking down the door and lighting <laughs> your home on fire. Um, but, yeah, I had, to, I had to move out. And, you know, the thing is, as crazy as it was, I think everybody I told it to was more shocked than I was. I don't know why. I, I wasn't ever panicked. I was more or less annoyed. I was like, I have to pack all my stuff up today. <laughs> oh, no. Dang it. <laughs> um... Death approaches, and I have to pack my Xbox. Whoa, whoa. I'm, a, uh, I'm, a I'm sorry. Guy. Come on. Yeah, now. whatever. It's all crap to me. Uh, I mean, uh... <laughs> that, that's a discussion we can have on another episode. It's really live. Yeah, because it's... Yeah, that was my brush with, with death. And I've had other brushes with death, but, like, on a more, like, oh, I could have fallen there and died kind of level. Um, but that was the one that was, I feel like, the most complicated and the, and the most human-oriented. I've never been that close to, uh, like people that were out for blood, I guess. And that, that's a, it's a really weird experience. I don't know why that guy has money over his head. I mean, I guess you've seen some crazy things in Richmond. Uh, yeah. But I mean, and I've I, seen people fighting before, but fighting never feels like... You know, it just feels like you're angry and you just want to do some damage. 
for the most part. Yeah. Uh, but life threats are a weird thing. Yeah, I, I mean, I've had my life threatened by an individual drunk person mm-hmm. in a way that I didn't take very seriously. Yeah. I have never had a posse. redneck neo-Nazi posse coming at me, you know, like, like uh, telling someone else mm-hmm. that they're coming to kill me. Oh, that's I mean, that's pretty I, scary. I guess I didn't say they did come to the house, too. I, I don't know. I didn't hear if they had guns on them or not. You know, sure. They came by, and our landlady was there, and you know, she was trying she to say... She stuck around. Yeah, well, she wasn't. She didn't feel like she was threatened, because she didn't cause any, any like, whatever. Um, but she she tried to get them to talk down, and, oh, God, like, apparently they, they curse her out. Well, uh, cursing, not, yeah. It's it's not still, it's like, what? I mean, like... What's you know, the point? There's, there's, no, there's no middle ground here. There's no, yeah. there's no reasoning. There's no rationale. And that's why I don't think Donald Trump should be elected president. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I was going to say that's actually what led to you moving here. Like, in, part, it, it, encur- it encouraged. Yeah, we had already talked about the idea, but it was like, maybe you should come now. Yeah. And then the Instant Replay Live happened. So, in the end, you getting your life threatened turned out to be a good thing. Yeah, I was pretty pleased with it. All right. Next time on Instant Replay Live, we talk about life. <laughs> Really kick it. Kick it! Yo, plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf?